Expansions really are the, uh, well, you know, the spice of life, obviously, but what is it about expansions that really make them tick? The question of the day, what do you like to see in an expansion? What will make you buy an expansion? Because sometimes, I mean, for instance, red pepper, you take too much of this and it just bloats the whole thing. It makes the whole dish taste like a red pepper instead of a nice, cohesive version of itself. Other times, it's a little too skimpy. You're like, did you put parsley on this? I can't even taste anything. It just looks like you added parsley to my dish, but there's nothing in here for flavor, right? The question is, what is it that makes you buy an expansion? What's that nice, happy medium where you go, oh, I taste the red pepper in this Arabiata sauce, and oh, the nice dash of parsley on top. I can smell it, taste it, and get all the wonderful little pieces of expansions in this metaphor. So today, though, we're talking about Great Western Trail Race Rails to the North. Does it fit? that criteria does it make it an expansion that is too bloated is it an expansion that's not enough is it an expansion that's needed let's take a look right now at how great western trail rails to the north plays let me know in the comments below though what you're looking for in an expansion take a look at how it plays come back and talk about if it's one you need right now So what happens in Great Western Trail rails to the north right now? You get basically a very few things. You get your uh, rule book here. You get this board, which is the main thing. We're going to show you what it looks like set up here in just a second. And you get a couple new buildings each and a couple strips to put at the bottom of your worker board down here, which features a couple new things. So you have two new auxiliary actions. One would be pay any level two card to put down one of these new station tiles and i'll show you where those go on the board you'll lay your station tiles on here three six nine twelve fifteen station tiles and as these bells come uncovered there are certain ways to score points based on these once you uncover this symbol it means you get one of the new switch tokens which is another one of the new things these tokens basically allow you to spend it any time could be your turn somebody else's turn uh, to draw a card and discard a card. So it's just a nice way to make your hand a little neater and better. And thankfully, because of that, I was able to get some of the higher scoring uh, times that I've when I played this with the expansion than I've ever had in the base game. So let's look at the, what the board looks like with the new expansion board on it. Very little changes of the actual uh, board itself down here, and almost actually nothing changes of the board itself. So I'll just show you how this works. It's neat because it has a little area that you fold. Notice it's a little taller on the back. And what you do is you butt this up against here, and this fits flush against this. And then you have a new player board at the top, which just kind of fits naturally and smoothly along. So it covers up the old city tiles here, and it gives you this whole new track up here. And I'll scoot this up here just a little bit as you can see. This new track involves some neat rules. So you notice they're color coordinated in different sections here. The way this works is you have a couple different rules for laying those new uh, station tiles. And the way this works is on your turn, there is a requirement where if you want to lay one of the new single auxiliary actions to drop off one of the branchlet, they call them, you have to, first of all, be connected to it by a branchlet. You have to be able to be, or you could be connected by a city. So if you couldn't, for instance, you could not get into St. Louis, or I'm sorry, you couldn't get into this branchlet area from the green unless you went up here, over to here, and into this, and then up to here. But since this is not a branchlet area, this is an actual city, the only way to get into this purple area here is to deliver to St. Louis. And once you've made a delivery to St. Louis, you then now have access to start delivering um, the branchlets. So you, so you would put these out on the board, you would take them off your player board, and you would put them onto the uh, city just like this. Now, if you're the first one there, you can cover up that and gain two coins. You then, as you keep placing these out, you could go here. Now, you'll notice this branch that just kind of ends there and dies dead. But let's just say you had gone to Chicago instead. Well, now you can get up into this blue area. So if your first one to deliver was to there, well, then you have options. You could either go here and get a switch token. You could go up here, pay a coin, and now have access to deliver to Denver, which is an eight-point black-shouldered token place. You could then go to here, which would then allow you to get to San Francisco, which still scores pretty heavily at the end of the game. But the way it works is for every bell you have, you get two points. So we know that that's worth, I believe it's... Um, well, how many bells did we say we had? There are five bells, so it's worth 10 points at the end of the game for every uh, token that you have there. So you could deliver there. Uh, 
and, and get those points. So it's, it's a neat way to score points. But uh, I like this idea of putting the brand sets out to open up where you can now deliver to. Because ordinarily you could just deliver to these places down here. But now, let's say we went this direction. And we so we delivered to Chicago. And now we have access through this train up into Milwaukee. Now I've placed mine here. Milwaukee is now an option. You instantly get this bonus here. Now you're probably wondering what these blue spaces are that I'm passing up, right? They seem to be these empty blue spaces. Well, what you'll do is you'll randomly seed the board with these tiles here. And these tiles are basically just new one-time bonuses for being there. So if you put these tiles on the board randomly, this one down here is you get to hire somebody at a level two discount. This one is you just get to kill two cards out of your uh, your herd, which you don't like. This one is just move your train ahead three spaces. So each of these places where you can drop off your branch, let's see smaller towns, they now give you bonuses. So it's not just, uh, okay, well, I'm on my way to Milwaukee or I'm on my way to Denver or I'm on my way to San Francisco. It's, oh, wow, this is really good. I can hire somebody at a really cheap bonus if I have access to this city tile to, uh, to deliver to uh, place a branchlet at. So it's just a neat little variety thing that adds a whole lot of play up here, adds a layer of strategy that really doesn't apply throughout the main part of the game down here. It's really when you're doing the deliveries, what it affects. So I like that, that it actually only affects one phase of the game where you still play the normal game down here and then it just changes the way you deliver up here. So just to give you kind of a quick look at all the available spaces there. It's pretty neat because it still allows you to do this thing where you come around the edge and do these station master tiles for points. It even adds a couple places where you can upgrade some stations here. So there's a lot going on in this top board here. But that's what the game adds right there. Let's take a look if this is something you should get or not. So that's it. Pretty simple. It lays across the top of the board. It adds some new mechanics. Adds a few new wooden bits and a little player strip at the bottom, but is it something you need? Well, in my opinion, yes. I will never play the game again without this expansion, just because I like that top board so much. It does just what I like an expansion to do, where you get more of the same old, but you also get just enough new to where it doesn't feel like, oh gosh, we have to do what now in this expansion? I don't even remember the rules for how to play this expansion, or it's so not there that you're like, oh, oh, this has the expansion? I didn't realize that, right? I like an expansion to be, like I mentioned earlier, a nice mixture of the two. And I feel like Great, Wh uh, Great Western Trail Rails to the North really does that. You still feel like you're playing the main game with some wonderful added content, not so light to where you're like, eh, we could do without this, or it's not even worth the time setting it up. That's really the litmus test. Is it worth your time setting up an expansion? If it's not worth your time setting it up because it's such a pain, then you probably shouldn't play with it. If it's too skimpy then it's also not worth your time but if it's too heavy and the rules change it's probably not worth your time this is a great mixed balance of the two of those things so this is a definite win for us we liked it so much that like i said we will probably never play the game without this just because of what it adds i love the idea of changing it up just a little bit where delivering to st louis and stuff means something now more than just the potential to get more points or you know what's what's on the other two you know how it used to be where you do this city and this city you get the bonus in between well it's totally different now you might only be able to deliver to uh, a certain city you might you might only be able to uh, deliver to cities that you've um oh, i'm sorry you might only be able to build one of those stations in places that you've delivered to and then you might open up some extra delivery places that are worth 15 10 points at the end of the game uh, for delivering there so a lot of strategy gets added to this game just by adding that top track that lays over the top of the board basically the northern cities or the other cities that you can go to so it really changes the game enough to where the bottom part of the game totally the same except for one or two of the buildings is adds a little bit different to where you can interact with that auxiliary action and thing to put the things out but it doesn't change the main game at all really it just adds a nice little top portion where the fourth phase of the kansas city track well then you're doing some extra stuff and i think that's just a cool idea uh, to just make it where you still feel like you're getting the same wonderful game, but also adding some stuff on top of that. So Great Western Trail, Rails to the North, definite win for us. Go get this. If you have Great Western Trail and you love it and you enjoy it, you can't pass on this. This is pretty much um, just, it's so worth having, just even for the little Switch tokens alone. You know, it's just great to have those options and investments and things like that. So go check it out. I'm Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. My uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that sort of stuff is at the latest retro. Make sure to follow us tag us all sorts of stuff as that and until next time i'll see you thanks so much for watching the dice tower videos find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com you can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com i'm eric summerer and you've been watching the dice tower the dice tower 